Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. Today's video is a collab with my girl, CJ of Beauty Essentials. Y'all know this is my sister from another mister. We are like we we just we 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 friends but it's sister girls you know we sister friends and so we decided we were thinking about actually cj was thinking about it first and i was like girl can i join in with you because i need to declutter some stuff we are going to talk about seven palettes that we haven't touched and we are going to decide if we're going to sell it if we're going to declutter it we both have accounts on poshmark so don't forget to check those out and Check me out on Twitter and Instagram just because I am very active on those platforms and I can let you guys know. Sometimes I display or I actually post products that I am not using and somebody can get some love from these are, you know, pre-loved items. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. The first one I am going to talk about, I have never opened. Okay, this is the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. It is a beautiful palette, but my uh, the, my ABH Sweet Glow, the Glow Kit palette looks a lot like this. And um, I did not want to do, I didn't want to open it just to do a dupes video. Okay, that would be defeating the purpose, but I haven't picked this up for a year, so I'm going to declutter it. Yeah. I'll probably end up putting it on Poshmark or use it as a giveaway and put it in a giveaway. I haven't decided yet. So you'll probably be getting a brand new product if I put it on Poshmark. The next palette I am going to talk about is the Lorac Gold Unzipped. This product or this palette is so, so beautiful, but I'm going to tell you, I have so many palettes with this same color scheme in. I have the Lorac Pro Mega Pro 3, which I really like. I have the Natural Love palette by Too Faced, and I just see these colors all over again. They would make amazing highlighters and amazing eyeshadows. I feel like this is a multi-purpose type of palette, but when you have too many of them, you go into overwhelm. I'm going to pass this on. Um, it's a bit dirty, um, but it's because of the packaging, not necessarily because I've used this a lot because I have not, but I am going to pass this on to one of my sisters. I know that they would probably enjoy this. It's just, I feel like that the packaging isn't clean enough to actually pass it on to somebody else or allow them to get some pre-love um, for it to be a pre-love item. So I am going to pass this on to one of my sisters. Next, another palette that I, I think I'm going to pass on is the Makeup Revolution. This is the Ultra Blush Palette. It is the Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold. It is so beautiful. It has a mirror and these are so beautiful. You have these matte shades over here. You have, this one is not really, but it's a satin shade. But these look like highlighters, straight up highlighters to me. It's such a beautiful palette, but I want to pass this on to my sisters. I have learned that if it is a, it needs to be a face palette for me. Blush palettes are kind of like, that are this large, are kind of like a waste of money for me. So um, it only costs $10, but that's $10 I could have kept in my pocket. So I am going to pass this on to one of my sisters. So we are decluttering some stuff y'all i'm really excited the next one it's a little bit harder y'all this is the meat Mat matrimony by the balm it is beautiful it has a mirror i don't want to blind you guys it has a substantial mirror which i like it has a black that is a plus this is a beautiful palette but let me tell you i can already tell you that i'm going to pass on this because i have the Lorac mega pro palette and although it is a large palette i tend to really really like those palettes the Lorac two and three are the ones that i have and um i just believe that someone who loves mattes would get some love from this so if you're interested in this i have not i only used this once i think and that was like swatching so this is a pre-loved item um, I'm going to definitely post that one on Poshmark. This one is also going to be on Poshmark just because this is the City Color Timeless Beauty palette. I thought I was going to love this, but I'm going to tell you, uh, women of color are going to love this palette just because I feel like it has some shades that are very comparable. This is probably the only one, but you could definitely mix it. But to me, these 
these highlighting shades are for women of color. These are women of color, color friendly. They're a little bit too dark for me, which means that they would be perfect for deeper skin tones. I am gonna pass this palette on. It's such a beautiful palette. It even looks high end, but it gets lost in the shuffle just because I, I can tell like a lot of these, two of these are blush palettes. That's telling me something. I shouldn't get any more blush palettes, right? So the next one, this is the Lorac Contour Pro Palette and it has a mirror. I like this palette a lot. I am gonna keep it, but I'm not gonna purchase any palettes. I'm not convinced that I need to buy any more of these just because I think these kind of get lost in a shuffle, but that's because I have like three of these. I think having one is good enough. And then when you run out, get another one. Or with the Kat Von D, you can refill it. But to have these, um, you know, I was like, ooh, that was when contour is all the rage. If you don't contour, don't get a contour palette. You know what I mean? Just get the bronze or the highlight. This can be a waste of money if this is if contouring is not something that you do. I am gonna keep it just because I can either use it in my kit. I could, I'm probably gonna use it in my kit just because um, it has that deeper shade. So uh, yeah, the powders are really nice. I've used this before, but I just think, no, I'm not gonna get these uh, anymore. I think I'm just, I'll, I think I'll still be good with the powders that I have right now. So I am gonna keep this one. This is the Jane Iredale. This is the simple, pure and simple makeup kit. To me, it's like a palette, okay? I really do like these shades, but I only like three of the five, and I feel like somebody can get some love. It's bulky. I did not like the packaging, and I talked about that in the review if you want to check it out. Beautiful shades. I did a try on. I'll link it over here if you guys want to check it out, but um, yeah, I, I'm going to pass it just because they were nice, but the packaging is still just too bulky where I feel like I can't enjoy what's inside of it. Yes, I could do pot, pot it, but I have so many other powders that I do tend to enjoy. The last palette, this actually, it did not come in this Mary Kay. I actually put it in here. I did pot it. This was a Benefit Cheek palette and I like this a lot, but let me tell you, I just talked about blushes and them being in palettes. I will not do this again. If I love a blush, I'm just gonna get that blush. I know that some people will say, well, this is a better deal. Actually getting the blush that you know you're gonna use is a better deal just because getting something like this is not because it's a waste of money. Um, because these, once they depot, I actually put these in here. I can definitely use this for a kit. I feel like uh, a palette like this is ideal for a makeup artist if you want to save money. But in terms of one person, um, if you have, if these are the only blushes that you have, I think that's phenomenal. But for as many blushes that I have that I tend to enjoy, that I really like, this is not something that I would gravitate towards. Even though, I'm going to be honest, a lot of times what will get you is the fact that an one item is in the palette with it and I tend to really like uh, Benefit Hula but I really didn't need all of these blushes. I feel like that they're nice. I am going to keep this palette. I am going to use it but in actuality I feel like it's gotten lost in the shuffle because it's so many blushes and I tend to just use two or three blushes. You know what I mean? I feel like that these could be your essentials. I mean you could use this in the winter like I said, if you have one palette, it's different. But for makeup lovers, for a makeup lover like me, this is just too much. And I really didn't need it. Okay, guys. So I am keeping two of the palettes and I am decluttering six. I know I did more than seven. Yeah. Yes, these are the ones that I'm going to get rid of. I hope this helped you and deciding if you wanted to get something out of your closet or out of your makeup collection just because it's not just makeup i mean anything that you're not touching or you're not using for a year you know i didn't use these for a year so uh yeah i'm so glad that i decluttered most of these and did not hang on to these but yeah i haven't touched them in a year and it's probably because i have something that's better otherwise i would have probably remembered you know what i mean so you guys that is the video thanks so much for watching this was a precursor to the spring clean week that i plan on having now i can't 
figure out which one I want to do it. So if you could do a favor for me and either comment down below or take the poll over to the side and let me know if you would like it on my vlog channel or here on this channel and then let me know where you want the declutters just because let me tell you over there I'm a little bit more personal I can sit down I feel like I do more and I really would enjoy the the vlogs the vlog style of decluttering I don't know if you guys want a formal if you want a formal one put it on this say that you want it on this channel but if you want it to be a little bit more laid back and I can sit down and just you know chit chat with you guys if you like that type of video definitely say the other channel and follow me over there because at the end of spring clean week I am going to take some pre loves things and I might have a special surprise for somebody so thanks so much for watching you guys i love you and don't forget to head on over to cj's channel and check out what she is declaring or deciding to declutter uh out of the ones that she hasn't touched for a year we have no clue that they may be the same they may be different but we wanted to come and um yeah thanks so much for watching you guys and i'll see beautiful you in the next video bye love you.